Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is about uh, about 10 o'clock, straight up 10 o'clock here, p.m. California time, August 20th, 2024 is the date. Latest activity here shows a 2.7 into the Alaska area. Of course, we've still got a lot of movement there across the big island of Hawaii with uh, Kilauea Volcano here putting on a nice little earthquake show under the surface, that is. No uh, eruption as of yet. But goodness, they are still having a consistent event of earthquakes up here. Uh, we got about 219 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, and that's uh, that's only the uh, only the ones that are accounted for out here. There may be actually uh, a bunch more, but uh, mainly confined here across the Upper East Rift Rift Zone here in this area around the Chain of Craters Road. So let's go see what's going on here across the area. Uh, they did put out a little update this morning, uh, chatted about the, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and read this real quick. Uh, just mentioned about the earthquakes here over the past eight hours. This was put out this morning, so about 8.55, how there had been about 200 earthquakes there beneath the upper east rift zone, uh, extending to the crater southeast of the region here. Uh, activity peaked between 1 and 2 a.m. Hawaii time. Uh, but as you can see, there's still earthquake activity uh, underneath this area. No eruption as of yet, but it looks like potentially we could see uh, something happen within this area here of the upper east rift zone, maybe the middle east rift zone as well, which stretches down here a little bit. So uh, let's check out the seismograph station, see what we got. There's the, uh, oh man, there's the, uh, a lot of earthquake activity on the 24-hour map here. And uh, yeah, it looked like about 10 o'clock local time there to about 4 o'clock in the morning. They had a tremendous amount of earthquake activity and it has died out slightly here. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the 12 hour map. You can see here in the last few hours earthquake activity. It looks like it's dying down a little bit, but there's still a handful of earthquakes out here uh, underneath this area. So something's going on, right? Obviously, we got some magma displacement down below. We see that on the deformation chart here. Um, a pretty big drop on the past week here. So that magma is now into the region uh, of the uh, upper east rift zone where we're seeing all that earthquake activity take place. So um, that's where I'm guessing we're going to see a eruption here soon. And again, that's this area just to the southeast here of the Kilauea Volcano Crater area where... Uh, um, yeah, where there's a lot of earthquake activity. So no eruption yet, but that could happen at any time. So be prepared for that. Also a little odd earthquake activity off the west southwestern coast here. 3.9 this morning and also 2.0. Um, not super deep. A little odd earthquake activity away from the main sequence of earthquakes here around Kilauea Volcano. Let's go ahead and check out California, see what's going on out here in... Uh, my neck of the woods well my neck of the woods way up north here but southern california in general uh, we got one earthquake here near the bodfish area 1.3 nothing big in fact a 2.5 map and above removes pretty much all the earthquakes aside from a 2.8 up here in the uh, sierra nevada mountains near walker california pretty shallow earthquake two miles below the surface there um, so, you know, this has been somewhat consistent here. We're not seeing any major uptick or any complete lack of earthquake activity. Just generally light microquakes swarming in a couple different regions out here of Southern California. So, still be on guard. The southern branch here of the San Andreas Fall continues to sleep for now. Uh, up north here, a small amount of earthquake activity across the coast range. Uh, Northern California, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Let's give a quick glance here at the trimmer department here, Cascadia Trimmer, where we have uh, well, about 547 epicenters of trimmer, mainly underneath the Washington area here, just a little bit down in Oregon. But uh, that's where the last week's events have been. And uh, let's see what we got for a total tally here. Uh, about 3,425 epicenters. You can see where the brunt of it has been taking place up here in the Washington area. And it's been a little while since we've seen any activity up there as far as trimmer counts go. So it looks like things are starting to fill in in this area that's been lacking a lot of trimmer here recently. 
Um, so yeah, uh, a little bit down south here at the extreme southern end that has added a little bit of earthquake activity here uh, last night, but it looks like it's off the map now. So not a whole lot going on here in Northern California uh, for now. Uh, let's see what we got here across the area. Yellowstone National Park, quiet. Give a quick glance here at the uh, overview. And those are going to be some thunderstorms and wind earlier today. I, I point that out a lot, but we're not going to check on the map again because uh, it just, it's repetitive here. We keep checking the radar, which those are definitely some thunderstorms out there, not earthquake activity uh, in the late afternoon there. Not a whole lot going on as far as shaking goes out there below the surface. Uh, Texas area, Oklahoma, nothing big, just typical movement out there in earthquake country, right? Who would have thought Texas and Oklahoma is earthquake country? But out there in the oil fields, it is. All right, far as worldwide activity goes, uh, any major uptick going on? South America looks uh, fairly quiet, aside from a couple smaller quakes there. On any given day, that's normal. Um, Puerto Rico, a couple twos out here. Middle America Trench, about the same. Alaska area, fairly quiet. We do have a 2.7 coming in right now in the green flag. And uh, the western areas of the Pacific Plate, fairly quiet, aside from some older movement up here across Japan and the Kurokam Chat Chatka Trench. Most of the activity on the uptick today looks to be around the Philippines southward here, 5.0, just outside the Solomon Islands area as well. So a little clustering going on in this region. New Zealand getting in on the activity as well. Looks like a mixed bag of deep and shallow earthquake activity across this plate boundary. Uh, no major quakes going on there for now, but uh, a little bit of uptick definitely showing up there on the globe tonight. Mediterranean, pretty quiet aside from uh, typical twos out there. And the Atlantic Ocean, goodness, pretty quiet. So let's go see what's going on here with Iceland, though, real quick, because uh, it's another area of some uh, definite swelling going on below the surface here in terms of magma inflation. Are they up? Are we online still? We are online. Oh, there they are. Okay, just a little pause there in the the internet world. 95 earthquakes out here in the last 12 hours. And let's see what we got down here for as super duper small earthquakes. That uh, is stretching a little bit more south here recently. It looks like underneath the Grindavik area and southward, this whole region is above pretty much all of the elevated inflation events here that we've seen uh, with the most recent past eruptions here going back to november so we're at a level here seen um higher than any other level seen prior to to the eruption that took place out here in, in the uh, past you know 10 months or so uh, i want to show you guys here on the chart real quick uh, right here, they put out this little update today, the Icelandic Met Office. Um, and check out this graph right here. That's The red is the uh, most current information in terms of volume of magma. So, um, and the uptick, the inflation that's going on here. As you can see, this line is well above any previous level seen. These were the inflation events leading up to the eruption during uh, November, December, January, February, and so on. But look at this, we're at an all time high in terms of the past couple events out here. So getting ready here, I feel, for some uh, activity to pop up here soon across Iceland. Uh, space weather activity, minimal sea flare activity right now. Nothing major going on. We do have a still 20% chance for X-flare. m at 65 and sea flare around 99% chance or so. No major roars in the forecast. Very minimal conditions there for the aurora potential. Not a whole lot. Uh, beautiful moon out there tonight. Uh, last night was the full moon, but uh, we're starting to go back down here. As far as sunspots go, uh, we do have numerous sunspots lining up, facing the earth currently. Uh, main region that I'm kind of watching is going to be this area over here that has produced some inflare recently. Uh, all these other sunspots here, they got a separation of the core, separation right there, and this one's just kind of uh, not doing much. So we'll continue to watch this area, maybe a couple other sunspots leading off here on the eastern limb, but uh, I don't see anything out of, uh, you know, 
far as craziness coming up here in terms of super duper large flares. Just uh, maybe some more M flares. Uh, let's see, nothing major going on in terms of the severe weather outlook. Uh, we do have some, uh, we, should we talk about snow? There's uh, going to be a little bit of snow out here from a deep low pressure trough along the west coast that's going to stir up uh, 24, let's see here, total snowfall. Let's run this here. It really starts to cool down as we head towards the end of the week. But uh, it does look like uh, maybe a little bit of locations out there going to be seeing some snow. That include Well, that's a GFS model, Northern California mainly. Uh, also a little bit of precipitation uh, out here across Northern California as well. But the big thing is going to be a much cooler temperatures as we head towards the end of uh, this week and the weekend. Look at this. Temperatures dropping uh, maybe 15, 20 degrees below normal out here for Northern, for the entire state of California, it looks like. Oregon in there as well. Uh, so I'll take it. I'm I'm ready for a nice cool weekend. Look at that really deep low pressure trough here. Looks like it's centered directly over Northern California, my neck of the woods. So bring on the colder weather. That's going to last for the weekend, through the weekend, and then things start to cook back up as we head into next week. A uh, fairly large cool pool coming down here from Canada uh, into the northern tier states as we end August. And, um, well, that's going to dip down a little bit into eastern Colorado and portions of Texas as well. So everyone gets a little shot there of some cooler weather. We're not quite in the fall yet. Obviously, we still got a lot of summer left. I wish we could say we're in the fall. I am not liking the looks of this, though, uh, as we enter into September. Some well above averages for... Uh, uh, California, so probably 100 degree temperatures once again, but uh, something's going on off here off the west coast, maybe some troughing going on, so I don't like that. I'm not, not a big fan of this heat, folks. I'll trade anyone for some cooler weather. They can uh, sit out here and enjoy the 100 degree temperatures. I am done with it forever. All right, so still a little bit of activity there across Hawaii. We'll continue to watch this area. Um, no major earthquake activity out here. In fact, the largest one in the last 24 hours was uh, 5.2 here off the southern end of the uh, Kamchatka Trench. Kuro Kamchatka. Not a big earthquake, but uh, still a little bit of movement here. 63 miles deep into that subduction zone. So, even though things are quiet right now, they may not stay like this for long. Uh, seismograph stations there. A little spike of an earthquake on the Cal State Bakersfield station here. Um, it's definitely an earthquake. I'm not seeing anything showing up here. At least not yet. So Nothing big. That's just a very small microquake. Alright folks, have yourself a good night. I'm out of here. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning for the uh, Wednesday morning update. Take care folks.